the hottest NBA takes of all of last week. Tadpole triplet. Angelo and the Brighton Bar. Brian and Mike. Who knew the Muppets were homophobic? I thought a hand up your ass would give you a pass. Just. I guess now we know why there's so many songs about rainbows. Are they homophobic or racist? What are they? Nobody cares about how rapey Miss Picky was, though, right? Every time I see that hair I'm be like, bitch! Get your hooves off my unk. It's a tadpole joke. <laughs> oh, it's, a it's not easy being in green. New Deal is ridiculous. <laughs> AOC's a puppet with George Soros' hand up her ass. I'm so rich. <laughs> Jersey Shore comedy versus the world. <laughs> Besides tonight, y'all built a, an energy that they can't duplicate in Hollywood. They try. Maybe they got a little bit better jokes, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg. Yes? If you jumped up and down, it would look like two pumpkin smashing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right joke. That's the one. <laughs> hey, Sabrina, next time you come, if you bring a poster of Alexandra Daddario, I'll tell you a story. That way, said they know who she is. Yeah. Right? Me and you know. Yeah. Hey. hey, Tim Carey, you should watch The Nook of the North. Okay. Hell of a documentary about the Inuits. You'd like it. The Nook of the North. Ted Cruz, the Cancun buffoon. <laughs> the way people were reacting, you would have thought he went to Epstein Island. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wishes that's where he went. <laughs> right? That way there's no media coverage. <laughs> keep that on the low. Keep that on the hush hush. We keep that. I thought we were all for Hispanics jumping the border. <laughs> Running from ice. <laughs> Get away from ice. Get a better life for your family. A couple of pina coladas. <laughs> Pandering celebrities. People are shocked. You hear about the plane that fucking had an engine blow up and dropped nearly on a house and all that shit? Ted Cruz got 10 times the coverage. <laughs> a remarkable feat in aviation. We're like, oh, let's talk about Ted Cruz and Sabina Collada. Because we trust celebrities and politicians. We landed a rover on Mars. Ted Cruz got 12 times the coverage. Mars. <laughs> Governor Cuomo killed some people's grandparents, fake news. 17 times ago. Oh, wait, there was zero coverage, so you can't multiply, right? Times zero. <laughs> My favorite drink is Jack and Check Your White Privilege. So, you think they're going to have to discontinue the vanilla Coke? <laughs> Get rid of the polar bear for a black bear or a brown bear? Y'all doing too damn much. Social media is just a manifestation of Hollywood. Or everyone desperate for attention, do anything for a like. TikTok's like going down to Venice Beach. Right. Chinese theaters like Vine. Hey, Capri, remember that time we were trying to pick up a chick? Right. You, you weren't there. No, no. Remember that? She got in the plane and took off. You're like, I'm never going back to New Finland! I'm like, is it Newfoundland or Newfoundland? You're like, no, it's Newfoundland, but it looks like Newfoundland. And we're like, oh, we had a laugh. <laughs> we never went back there. They never found that lady, neither. She disappeared two years later. Yeah. Hey, Angela, remember last week? Yeah. For a fellow who's one mustache and a cigar away from being Cuban, <laughs> you had a lot of pent up communist angst you like to put. Yeah. Right. Meghan Markle's the first woman in history to turn a prince into a frog. Right. right. Thirsty ass heifer, that's what they called her in Hollywood. She'd do anything. No democracy's ever lasted 250 years because people are people. Right? 
the greatest document and three tier system ever created. And people are like, you know what, let's fuck with it a little bit. I think the $15 minimum wage will help turn America into the aborted thesis that they want. Who's they? Anyone that is not you. We're not involved in the. Right? They'll never show us what's going on behind the curtains, right? Hollywood would be like, yeah, yeah, but 20 years later, everyone would be like, oh, yeah, me, that happened, I happened, I remember it. But they're all cowards. They won't speak out in the moment. I've been canceled seven times in real life. Don't touch children. <laughs> not in front of me. Everyone thinks they know you because of the political jokes you write. I'm not even allowed to vote. Not because I'm a criminal like you guys, but because I voted for Ross Perot and Ralph Nader. And then I started doing math and I was like, oh, we ain't even involved. 13 states have decided every modern day election until this one, six counties now. We bent and leveraged the system as much as we can. I think we make it to 250 years. I just hope that Biden's eulogy at the death of America is as touching as the one he gave Robert Byrd. <laughs> That's soy latte that married Serena Williams. Got mad if someone was like, she's the best woman tennis player to ever play. Phenomenal. And then little crybabies was like, why can't she just be the best tennis player to ever live? Because she's not. Right? Goats have gender too. Sexes. Right? She probably wouldn't win the men's high school tournament. Just like when the women's soccer team lost to the 14 year old boys. Their balls ain't even dropped yet. EJ looks like magic when Cookie wasn't looking. That's the magic joke. I love him. That's my guy. Hey, Dweck, last week was the ninth time you left right before I went on stage. <laughs> before Carl goes up. You always leave before all the joke writers leave. He's still leave. here? Holy He's still here. <laughs> Holy shit. Goes home to jerk off the Conan O'Brien clips. <laughs> How the fuck did he make your Mount Rushmore? I think all the lesbian that want babies should let me knock them up. Because I want a bunch of babies, you know? I do. And they don't want a failure and I don't want a wife, so it'd be good. And the doctor said I had good genetics. You know that good DNA? You want a taste? <laughs> hey, Angelo, you're the bullpen coach, right? Everyone in the room, based on their comedic stylings, right? You got to go to the bullpen for a fastball. Who you calling? Brighton Bar regulars. Can I ask one situational question in this game? Like, how many hours we have kind of question? Is Dweck in the room? <laughs> Brighton Bar regulars. Right. 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 If Dweck's in the room, house. listen, listen. If Dweck's in the audience, I'm picking Caprio to come up and do his thing, right? If he's not in the room and we're real on our own material, I'm picking Carl. Okay. Hey. So, so based on this room and Brighton regulars, you got Caprio because Dweck is in the room. Even though he did it. The work is in in this situation, yes. He's nothing without Dweck. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> That's fine. I had Caprio was more of like a DM slider. He was <laughs> slide right in DMs. Who you got for a curveball? Rager. Yeah. All right. Split finger in the dirt. Dweck. <laughs> I got him as a knuckleball, but who you got as a knuckleball? B. Croft. So if, he's doing, if he's doing the Creed impersonation, definitely knuckleball. <laughs> How about a change of? Uh, Carrie, Tim Carrie. Yeah, we can see that. All right, just for you, Angelo, and some of y'all know who he is. Mark Stoudemire? Oh, yeah. All right, I shot a film with him, right? They ended up turning it into a, a skit for the ESPYs. It's called Hoosiers 2. They cut it down to some... Uh, 
you know, like a four or five minute bit with Matt. Matt Perry was the coach and had some old motherfuckers on the other side, right? And me and my boy get there, and you know, they started to do a layup line on one side and they did a layup line on the other side. And if you've ever watched movies, the sports scenes, just some fellas prancing around, right? So it was me and my boy and some ballerinas out there trying to hoop. Amari comes out, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know, you know? We, 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 we got out there and we're doing, doing the layup lines, you know, fucking, I was like, all right, he's checking his ass, see what we got going on. We get out there and ball, first time down, take a charge. I don't fucking care. He's like, oh, we're going to play. I said, if we're going to do it, let's do it. Next time down, the old guy with the cane, he took my legs out. <laughs> yeah, every time down, they just kept hitting me in the legs, and he would go up and dunk on me. And I banged five threes in a row. He's like, you got to call that shit. I was like, I don't. <laughs> you might need to, but I don't. That's just math. <laughs> I don't know. That's my story about Mark Stoudemire. Thank you, guys. Give <laughs> it up for Dad Bull Triplett.